showcasing a turning point in history, the 50-year celebration of the People's Republic of China. On this special commemorative show segment, TV Web Travel takes you to the streets of Beijing in the midst of its preparations for the big day. We will help you in your future travel plans to Beijing by recommending some of the world's best hotels for your stay there, plus a look at the sightseeing opportunities only Beijing has to offer. And don't leave yet because we will connect you through Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia for a stay at the Pan Pacific Hotel at the new International Airport. You'll love it. Qingdao Beer, the world's most popular Chinese exported beer, will bring you good luck in this Chinese New Year. We toast you now with Qingdao Beer and ring in the New Year from Beijing on tvwebtravel.com. Welcome to this very special edition of City TV. As we are visiting China, we're in the city of Beijing. And while we're here, we're going to be celebrating with all of the people in China as they celebrate their 50th anniversary of the People's Republic of China. And today is the day. It's October 1, 1999. Tiananmen Square is filled with people today, all kinds of parades. They're going to have all their military out there, and tonight it will be ending with a beautiful fireworks display, something that we would not even imagine. But we're bringing it to you on this special edition of City TV. We are here in the center of Beijing at the Crown Plaza Hotel. While we're here, we'll have different people from the Crown Plaza join with us and tell us what we can expect to see in celebration festivities here in Beijing. This is the Atrium Cafe where you can see they have put up a huge screen right behind us and we'll be able to view some of the celebration festivities going on in Tiananmen Square. It's all very secure. People are not allowed to enter in there today. It's, there's police everywhere. But we will be bringing everything to you that we can and also all the sites of uh, Beijing as well as the hotels to stay in and food and special dishes and drinks here in China. So stay tuned. This is a very special occasion for City TV and we encourage you to stay with us and enjoy. Well, it's a breezy night here this October 1, 1999 here on top of the roof at the Crown Plaza. We're right in the middle of Beijing here, and in a few minutes we'll be celebrating the, uh, the uh, firework display that will be going on for two hours, if you can imagine that, two hours. But we will bring you shots of it, and uh, we're going to enjoy a beautiful buffet. We have the chef right behind us, and he's prepared it for everyone here, and, and we're all braving it out here in this breezy weather. But uh, it's a really exciting night here in Beijing, and everyone is enjoying himself immensely. I'm joined now by Bob Wren here in the Pearl Garden at the Crown Plaza in Beijing. And uh, Bob, we just wouldn't have a show without showing the uh, Peking duck. And we're just about to have that ceremony. Can you tell us a little more about it? Sure. Uh, today is a very special day in China. Uh, today is our uh, 50 years birthday. And uh, we have several customers They're from uh, some other nations in China which is uh, Inter-Mongolian and uh, uh, China-Korean nations. 
Uh, they cannot to have a uh, very, very nice picking duck in our restaurant in Crown Plaza, Beijing, and to spend a very beautiful day. And can you tell me, uh, the Crown Plaza presents the Peking duck. W who is the chef that's with us today, and uh, w is it typical to slice the duck that way, or what do you do? Uh, the duck, the chef today, we, uh, we have is Chef Zhao, uh, which is have very, very nice experience in cooking. And uh, the duck, uh, what the duck we're doing is the traditional Chinese way, uh, which is almost uh, 200, uh, 200 years history in China, in Beijing. Uh, it's very beautiful, and very nice. The Crown Plaza Beijing is the home of TVWebTravel.com while we're in Beijing. And it can be your home too. As you can see at the Crown Plaza Beijing, we have nightly performance here and also we have a beautiful coffee shop here to complement with your meal. back to our show here on City TV more information about Beijing stay tuned now we are approaching the Great Wall the first time when we built up the Great Wall that was uh, that can date back to 2000 years ago that was 221 before Christ you know at that time you know China was firstly unified by one emperor his name was Emperor Qin Shi Huang meaning the first emperor first emperor of the Qin dynasty you see and uh, that emperor first time asked us Chinese people about one-fifth of the total population at that time to get involved for building this great wall then the total length of the great wall would be like 3,500 miles long which is like 6,000 kilometers long We have to thank our tour guide, EBM, out of New York City, which we will have their 800 number during this show. They are true professionals in getting you around China in the Beijing area. We have Steve, our tour guide, here with us from EBM. And Steve, this is one portion of the wall that we recommend if you want to get great exercise. <laughs> what is the name of this section? Well, the full name of this section is actually is a bubbling section of the wall, but the real detailed name for this is Shui Guan. Shui Guan means water pass, water pass. So along the, the Great Wall area, actually, this was actually the, the, the lowest position. It's not quite high. So if you still think this is an exercise, actually, let me tell you, this is just a warming up. Yes, now this is one portion of the wall, though, that has not been reconstructed or in any way uh, renovated. It's, it's original intact. Yes, this is quite original, you know, especially when you can get to the top of this mountain. You can see the real great wall, you know, which have, have never been, uh, you know, touched or renovated, reconstructed, you know. So it's, uh, everything's real, okay, then you have the real feeling of this. Well, of course, the Great Wall was built over a period of time, and it's built in all different sections, over 3,000 miles here in China. But uh, this was done during the Ming Dynasty, this particular section. Yes, Ming Dynasty, and Ming Great Wall. Uh, what we'll do is take uh, time to talk to Steve when we get to the top, if and when we get to the top, <laughs> and we'll of take course. another view from the very top. So we'll sign off until then. Okay, yeah. thank you. TVWebTravel.com specializes in highlighting the world's best hotels. And on this visit to Beijing, we are recommending three deluxe hotels, each on the top of our list. The buildings in front of us is called Forbidden City. Because in the old days, I mean, in the Ming and the Qing dynasties, you know, where our emperors still lived inside, the people like us were forbidden to go in. That's how the name came from. 
and the total area of this place is 180 acres. So it is just called a city, a forbidden city. You know that's where our emperor and the concubines lived. Usually at that time, you know, we would have 5,000 people live inside, and among them, one emperor, one empress. Oh, by the way, empress was actually the the only sole law, uh, lawful wife of the emperor, but the emperor also got from 500 to 800 wives, you know, sub-wives, maybe you can call them, that's concubines. Then they have bodyguards, about 1,000, and another 1,000 eunuchs, you know, 1,500, you know, waitresses. Altogether, around 5,000 people li lived here. And the roof of the building is all yellow. But this kind of yellow is, we call that imperial yellow, because only the emperor's house could be, could use this kind of tiles because yellow got the same pronunciation with the word emperor. That's why only the emperor can dress in yellow, can use yellow houses, and of course the, the, the color of the wall is red. Red indicates happiness. So we have imperial and happiness. One of the things that you won't want to miss when you're in the Beijing area is the Summer Palace, and we are on the Dragon Ferry right now going across a beautiful huge lake here at the Summer Palace. This was a summer resort and by the way it is open almost every day of the year unless there's a special occasion you can plan to be here and you can see as we look out all the weeping willow trees and the people it's very busy today this has been the 50-year celebration so so many people are here taking advantage of the time off that they have to come to the Summer Palace. And We know you'll really enjoy it. Plan it for your trip when you're in Beijing. for sharing China's 50-year celebration with us here at tvwebtravel.com. Beijing has so much to offer. You should call EBM Tours to book a perfect, memorable trip of a lifetime. <laughs>